hey guys i hope you guys are doing great so today we are going to see the k near neighbors imputer so the k near neighbors imputer works on the same principle as the k near neighbors algorithm works so what is k near neighbors so for example i have a data point and i want to identify what would be my k near neighbors uh, so i will set a parameter as near neighbors number of three so what are my three nearest number of neighbors say for example in this case there is a blue data point and i want to identify three near neighbors to blue data point so what it will do is it will calculate the distance with all the data points in the space and then the one which are top three shortest distance based on the euclidean distance nearest to it will be the nearest neighbors so this is step one now in step two is that we want to find the value of that missing value data point so how will we find that so once we have find that these are the three data points which are nearest to the blue data point we will see what are the values of that particular univariate in these three data points and I will take an average of the three and that average value would be the value of this missing value according to the k nearest neighbors imputer algorithm so I'll just in summary repeat the process so first point there are two steps the first is that it will identify the nearest neighbors given by us like three in this example it can be five it can be seven anything and then based on the euclidean distance it will form these are the three data points with are which are nearest to it and then it will pick the values of corresponding values of that variable that feature or that column or that univariate of all these three data points that are identified as the nearest neighbors and it will take average of these three values and that aggregate average value will be the value of this missing data point so, so now let's jump into the demo part how we can use the knn imputer of sklearn and we can impute the missing values of our data point so i have my this jupyter notebook with the data of uh, titanic data uh, collected already using pandas so what i'll do is i'll just refresh it and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to drop the columns that we do not need so let's do some cleaning stuff and i do not need these factual information and then i'll just see what are the missing values in my data set so let's check so i see that the h column which is a float data type has the missing values and then i see fair also which is a float also has some one missing value in it and the point to remember here is that the knn imputer works only on the numerical data so for example if in case you want to impute and use this knn imputer for categorical data then you need to map into integers or some numerical value and then you can go ahead with knn imputer okay so let's see now uh, i will just separate the categorical and numerical columns because i just want to apply it on the two numerical columns that is age and fair so i'll just create a list of the two and i will now segregate my data slice my data based on the categorical and numerical columns so in df num i have the numerical columns that is age sib sp parch fair okay and if you want to just take a glimpse of it so we can just check what we have in our data so we see that we have our required columns with us now i'm going to import the knn imputer from sklearn impute so how we are going to Im 
import it so you just have to type sklearn impute import knn imputer and then i'm going to call this knn imputer class and i'm going to set some parameters and we will discuss about the important parameters so i'll just bring those over here so i see that i have imp as name given to this knn imputer and missing values so the missing value should be nan of course we can mention it accordingly and then we have neighbors five so initially i've given it as five because uh, at random we can give any value initially five seven whatever then we can optimize it based on the results that we are getting and then the weights weights can be like you can give uniform you can give distance there is like callable like you can have your own custom made uh, weights but uh, generally uniform uh, is applied by default but if you want it as a distance then distance what it will do is it will apply the weights inverse of their distance so in case uh, the closer uh, neighbors of a query point will have a greater influence than neighbors which are further away so it works that way and then uh, you can apply the matrix as uh, NAN Euclidean this is like by default but if you want you can give your own custom made uh, callable user defined function as well and then uh, you can give a copy copy is a, like a boolean true or false so this if true a copy of say for example x will be created and if you uh, give it false the imputation will be done in place whenever possible so you can apply this one then there is a like add indicator these are something like which are not most frequently applied but uh, these are the ones which are most frequently applied but yeah just uh, for uh, having basic info on this the add indicator is by default it is false so like if it's true uh, a missing indicator transform will stack onto the output of the imputer's transform so this allows a predictive estimator to account for missingness despite imputation so you can also give the keep empty feature as uh, uh, true if you want to so true will ideally return in results when transform is called so the imputed value is always zero when we apply this fit command to the data set so by default it is false so you can keep it as is and then i'm after instantiating my imputer in imp i'm just going to fit it with my data okay so let's execute it So once uh, it's executed, it might take some time. You can see a kind of a, a display here that shows that your uh, imputer is already uh, instantiated and uh, metadata is already being created. So the this can be represented as a placeholder as well as a metadata which is already fit. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this particular imputer which is already been created i'm just going to uh, transform it using uh, using the transform function on my data and then i'm going to put that transformed data which is now having no missing values and i'm going to create a data frame because this is going to return a numpy array and then i'm going to get the columns that as a column name that I already saved in the numerical and I'm going to execute it and see the top five rows and I see that I get a data frame and I can check whether the imputation has worked properly or not so what I'll do is I'll just simply first check the info that readily gives us that information so yeah we can see that the age and the fare both are filled with non-null values so that means the imputation has already been done but the question is we saw all this but we did not check which were those values and how those values are being filled so let's do that uh, analysis as well 
so what I am going to do is I'm going to first uh, going to check in my uh, in my data the one uh, raw data that I had the previous data that is TF I'm going to check what were the indexes which had these missing values so I'm going to create a list of age column where the age was missing and I am going to uh, get the index value in a list so this will give me the index of those and then I am going to uh, slice this data based on the index so let's check so you see these are the 86 rows which had missing age values in it and now let's check the same index for our clean data that is the filled missing data with k nearest neighbors imputer and i'm going to again slice this using idx and i see that these values of age are being filled so you see 10 it had na and it is filled with 30 now that we have a good hold on k nearest neighbors there are some very important functions of k nearest neighbors that can be very useful when you are trying to automate this process in production or when you are going to utilize a very fast fix and you want to update it or you want to iterate through a lot of changes in your hyperparameters. so let's see what are those useful functions the first function that we are going to discuss is get the feature names out so what this does is this actually does nothing but it tells us on what features we have applied the imputer so if i execute it i will come to know what are the features that i have applied it so instead of say for example where I created my data frame you see in columns I gave this as numerical but I can also give the same value on it and this will work absolutely fine I can change it to list although we can do it uh, the other way as well and I'm going to execute it you see it works as good as it works with numerical list so this is one feature so there is another feature which is which is get params now what is this uh, get params it is nothing but actually we, you see you remember that we had certain hyper parameters that we already gave when we call this k and n imputer class so you see these missing values n neighbors it is nothing but we whatever the parameters we gave to our imputer it will again call that and it will show us that dictionary that these were the parameters that you used in a dictionary format so you can utilize this as the config when you are productionalizing or you can use this just to automate the process this is super useful or you just want to know which were the parameters i tried it and i want to change it say I want to change this k nearest neighbors instead of 5 to 3 or 7 then you can come to know what was the reference point now comes our other important very important uh, function which is set params so we just talked about how we can get the params and I want to set the params say for example I just uh, want to change from 5 to 7 so I'll just um, change it to 7 and then when I execute it the new parameters it will tell me what has been updated and it will this parameters will be changed and I can execute get params and I can get that my new params are nearest neighbors with these and with the updated one so this is all about k nearest neighbor imputer of sklearn I hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video with some more great useful information for you till then bye